As I was coming in tonight, there was a number of paintings on the wall, and if you didn't notice, I did. At least, at least half of them had women's breasts on them. So women's breasts are of great interest, not only to women, in case you ladies haven't noticed it, men are interested too. But they have incredible value in our society. They represent motherhood, sexuality, but we're all interested in them. I have a mantra, and it says that I want you to live to be 120 years old and die in your lover's arms with both breasts attached. So we're going to look at some new technology tonight to help your breasts stay on your chest and help it, and look at the old technology and why it doesn't work anymore. So this is the old technology. Notice any difference in there? New technology, old technology. Does anybody want to watch black and white TV anymore? Okay? So we're talking about living color. So I'm going to cover the old technology just a little bit, and then I'll let Linda Hayes share with you the new technology. So here's what the old technology looks like. Now, if any of you, how many of you have ever had a mammogram? Okay, you'll notice a couple things wrong with that picture right off. First of all, the x-ray tech is standing in the room, and that's not happening. They're going to be behind the lead wall, right? Because this is radiation. And that, what does radiation cause? Cancer. That's not a, that doesn't sound like a healthy thing. Secondly, you'll notice the breast is not sna adequately snatched. Okay? So, that's not exactly the way it happens. It's a nice uh, plot picture, but I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you would willingly stand in front of an x-ray camera and take 1,000 chest x-rays? Any volunteers? Not a soul. I haven't had anybody raise their hand yet, okay? Well, there's a reason I asked that question. Because the routine practice of taking two films of each breast will give you the dose of about 1,000 chest x-rays. Think about that. Anytime you get a mammogram, you're getting about the same doses as 1,000 chest x-rays. That should really make you rethink. So, let's talk about uh, young women's breasts, for instance, which mammography is absolutely terrible for. Uh, women's 40 and 49 randomized control studies show that there is no benefit in screening at all from mammography in the first five to seven years. The pre-menopause causal breast, that's 50 years or below, uh, is very sensitive to radiation. Each mammogram increases your chance 1%. So, you take mammograms for 20 years, who would willingly volunteer for a 20% increase in breast cancer rate? Okay, that would just, that's astounding. Uh, even the National Cancer, cancer Institute released evidence that among women under 35, and that's what they've been pushing for, younger and younger, you would cause 75 cases of cancer for each, each 15 that you detected. Now that's not cured, that's just detecting you cost 75 cases. That's a staggering number. And, and why? Well, it, it's in vogue. Medicine has vogue advanced too, okay? Hospitals have invested in membrane machines and they want their, their money out of the investments. And it's a cash cow, if you would, no pun intended. It's a cash cow for, for clinics and hospitals. The cause, one of the reasons it's such a cash cow is because it's such a bad test. There's so many false positives that they're going to get you back in for the repeat exam and then maybe for the biopsy. You got it. I saw it on the lips of the biopsy. Um, and so what is that about? Okay, that's about the money. And we're interested in your breast, your breast health. So Linda Hayes, certified clinical tomographer, is going to share with you a little bit about the new technology. Well, I've been doing thermography for over 20 years, and I've been so blessed that I have a passion for women that they do not go through mammograms and radiation and needless biopsies anymore. This chart, I love this chart. This shows when thermography picks up uh, breast cancer. It can detect 256 cells, where a mammogram can detect it until 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight years and it's grown to four billion cells. So what do you think our chances are, ladies, whether at 256 cells or four billion cells? 
It's an amazing, amazing test. This is showing you the technology. Thermography is this simple. What you do is you stand in front of the scanner, no radiation, no contact, and no compression. And you take the picture. It's that easy. It shows up on the, on the screen. And if you look at this woman's face, I was an x-ray tech and I never saw this. She's smiling, right? And this is science, okay? So uh, as a reading physician, we look at patterns on the chest. Uh, this red pattern up above is an estrogen pattern, so we know this lady it has an estrogen effect. She's either still menstruating or she's taking some uh, exogenous estrogen. We look at the temperature. We look at the temperature of the areolas, compare it to the low temperature of the breast, and then we compare it to the other breast. And we score these. There's just a scoring system where we go right down and score these, and that's how we can tell where you're at in relationship to all that. These are slides showing you how simple the market really is. The first slide up top is showing you pregnancy. This woman is three weeks pregnant, so you're seeing the hormonal and vascular changes. And this is what I tell women, you're just not best walking around. There could be other things going on in your body that cause things in the breast. The next one is showing you a benign cyst. I mean, how many women want to have um, uh, biopsies? This is telling us right here, one picture that this is a benign cyst. This can save you from needless, needless surgeries and uh, procedures. This is ductal carcinoma, one of the hardest cancers to find and one of the hardest to treat. And you can see how interproximal that is. It was missed on a mammogram. Now, this isn't about breast cancer. This is about healthy breasts. Mammograms can only tell you when you have it, right? We want to tell you the precursors to not get it. And, you know, if we have implants, this lady has implants. Uh, as you recall how expensive those are, you do not want to burst one of those. And there's no compression with thermography. Mammograms compress that, you can rush one. Besides, uh, the mammography will not see behind that tissue or through uh, the implant. Well, that's not an issue for thermograms because of, the, of what thermography is, it can see right through that because all of the breast is reflected on the skin. Because it's a test of physiology, mammograms can only detect something after it's there. It can't see it coming. Thermography can see it coming years away because, for instance, if you had some cancer cells, they're growing and dividing. Well, that's increased blood supply, and that's called heat. And so it sees that heat. That's what a thermography is. It sees the heat coming. So that's the difference, uh, some of the differences. There are many differences. Uh, no pain, no smashing, uh, no rupture implants, uh, no x-ray causing cancer causing x-rays, so uh, I'm going to give you, is our next speaker ready? If not, I'm just going to take a couple more minutes and give y'all more, would you like more information? All right, here we go. How about preventing breast cancer a little bit? Anybody want to hear about that? Uh, let's talk about, I'm going to be real brief on these emotional issues. Uh, fear is one of the main emotional issues that you do not want to have. If you have, you want to diminish that. Bras, let's talk about bras for just a second. The ladies in the 60s that burnt those weren't all bad. How many women in this room were underwear on bras? 85% of women that were underwire bras develop lip congestion, and lip congestion in those women is the number one cause for breast cancer. So tell them why. Uh, lip is the garbage collection system. That's the trash system of the body. It, it takes away trash from the cells. So I don't know if any, any of you have ever been in a city when there's a garbage strike, but it's not a pleasant experience. So lymph drainage is very important. Bras do three things that aren't particularly healthy for the breast. They heat the breast up. Thermal heating of the breast is not healthy. They decrease blood flow because of the pressure. Hello, any tissue with less oxygen, less nutrients is going to be less 
healthy. And then they decrease lymphatic drainage. So as soon as you get home, uh, take those off and then give a little massage. Uh, Y'all also do something else that's very healthy on the day. And so our next speaker is ready. So I'm going to give up the microphone. And ladies and gentlemen, we are taking free face scans in the back to show you this great technology. And you also can sign up for $100 off your first thermograph scan. Thank you. She says we're going to do it right on time, so I want to share with you a little more. Uh, estrogen, our third issue up here. Uh, estrogen effect, the total estrogen effect, has a bearing on uh, breast cancer. So that's early menstruation, late menopause, uh, birth control pills, and uh, hormone replacement therapy. Now the study, you saw that on the a few years back, that was kind of disastrous. But if you'll notice, that issue did not include a bioidentical hormone replacement. So I don't have any issues with that. Uh, environment, uh, we're talking about heavy metals, we're talking about air, we're talking about water, we're talking about uh, plastics. Uh, so many people are drinking water out of plastic now, that is not a healthy thing to do, the dioxins. Uh, who is the actress that came out with breast cancer and all she drinks is bottled water? Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow got breast cancer. All she drinks is bottled water, she thought that was healthy. So, all of those things in plastic are not healthy for us. That's just petroleum, and that's not a healthy thing. Stress, there's nobody on the planet that would argue that decreasing stress decreases disease period. I don't care what disease that is. Exercise, one of the things that's healthy for breast related exercise is the balance. So you don't want to compress those breasts too much while you're exercising. You want the little balance, because that's causing lymph, that's called lymphatic drainage. So that's a healthy thing. Uh, Eat healthy, eat antioxidants, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, less meat, and the, the less cooked the better. So how we eat and impacts our health and healthy breast. Uh, you can drink antioxidant water too, and alkaline water. That is um, all about that. And then the last thing is avoid doctors. Okay? Doctors do a lot of things that aren't. Doctors do a lot of things that aren't healthy for our breasts. Uh, as a kid, they might give you a number of antibiotics. Women who've had three courses of antibiotics over 10 days got twice the incidence of breast cancer. Okay? And then um, uh, birth control pills, and you know they did that increased estrogen. Okay? And then if you have to get a mammogram, they'll want to push it into a mammogram. And then comes the second set of mammograms, and then the biopsies. Got a few pictures of that, okay? Here's a biopsy instrument and a dress, that's an x-ray of it. Here's a, from a uh, ultrasound of a needle passing through a tumor. And here's the problem that I have with that. And that is, as the needle passes through the tumor, it also cuts through lips and veins, and then the tumor, and it spreads those cells. So you just metastasize those cells. So uh, I'm going to write a book about that. I think we're going to call it the kiss of death. Biopsies are not healthy for us. So, thank you so very much. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. And stop by our booth and see this wonderful technology.